SBC Media. Welcome to iGaming Daily, analysing the news from the betting and gaming industry all over the globe. Supported by SBC Summit Barcelona, the industry-leading conference bringing you the future of sports betting and iGaming. SBC Summit Barcelona is the fastest growing sports betting and iGaming event in the industry, happening on the 19th to the 21st of September. Experience the entire global industry coverage under one roof with 15,000 delegates, over 350 exhibitors and so much more. Get your tickets now at svcevents.com. Brazil has been one of the main topics in 2023, from approving a sports betting regulation to starting an investigation into match fixing and all things in between. However, it was missing something key for the industry to develop. That thing was online casinos. While the desire to have an online gambling industry clashed with the reality of Brazil only approving fixed odds betting, uh, sports betting, a recent amendment changed the whole scenario and opened the doors to the regulated online casino world. This week, the Chamber of Deputies approved that amendment, and the bill is now headed to the Senate, gaining momentum to be signed into law before the end of the year. And this will be the topic of today's episode of iGaming Daily, sponsored by SPC Summit Barcelona which is next week, may I add. And I am joined by Lucia Mourinho and Isadora Macanchi again to talk all things Brazil. How are you both doing today? You okay? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I'm really good. I'm really good. Perfect. And before we start, great announcement for Lou. She has just bought a house in Ohio. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very Yay. much. <laughs> yeah. Congrats, Lou. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure Lou will put all the pictures on LinkedIn for everyone to see, but the house looks amazing. Oh, Maybe not because, again, I'm South American and I'm afraid that I will get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the pictures. I will send them to you. It looks great. And Thank you. Lou mentioned that uh, one room in particular will be our office. And the first thing that came to my head is you're going to need a lot of things to fill the office because that room is huge. <laughs> oh, God. That's and exciting. I came in daily logo. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Uh, yes. We'll get some LED strips as well so you can have the color branding. So the yeah. office will just be pink and white. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> cool. But, you know, enough on Lou's house. Uh, we're talking Brazil and there has been big movements because we've we've done a few podcasts on Brazil, a few episodes. And the question was always raised of why was online casino not included in these new regulations that were previously signed? And it always baffled me because this is you mentioned there's a big appetite for casino in Brazil. But now we've got movement. So, you know, uh, Isadora, we'll come to you first. How did we get to this point and how does it kind of change the whole regulatory scenario in Brazil? Uh, honestly, I really don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit... It's like I was talking to Lou before and like uh, Brazil politics a bit a bit messy, I would say. Um, well, sports betting, fixed sports betting were regulated in 2018. Um, in December of 2018, they were, uh, made, they were legalized, actually, not regulated. Um, but we've been talking since then about legalizing online casinos too. And we never brought this up like we're doing now. Uh, in the Congress, there was like a, a bill um, uh, being discussed there about legalizing online casinos as well. But then we never saw any de development on on that topic. And now, um, this week, out of the blue, uh, we just got the news that uh, online casinos, like, I mean, they, they don't use online casinos, the words online casinos, but they um mention online gambling mm -hmm. right they they use the definition of online gambling uh so um i really don't know how we got to this point and uh i i'm not sure if this part of the bill will be approved by the senate because uh since it was like the bill comes from the chamber of deputies now it's on the senate for approval and if, and if they uh vetoes if they veto anything on that bill it has to go back to the Chamber of Deputies before being sent to the um, to the president. So uh, I, I really I really don't know. It's really hard to to understand what's what's going on because they were never legalized in first place. 
So we just have to wait and see, but I don't think we'll see any news regarding this like soon, like an approval or a veto anytime soon. I think it'll, it'll take some time. I think we got to this point because Brazil just likes doing Brazilian things, meaning that the country <laughs> likes being unpredictable. That's yeah. true. Like that's one of the main characteristics that we've seen from Brazil throughout the years when it comes to the industry after all, right? Like how many times have we seen predictions to questions that are like, I don't know, when when do you think it'll get regulated or, or what would be the tax system like? We've seen everything at this point, so I'm no longer surprised by how they handle the sports betting regulation, which I guess could now be called online gambling regulation in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, well, it, it just does want to add something mm -hmm. here. It's like, um, uh, it's it's the one of it's an opinion, like it's my point of view of the situation. So I I can tell you that it's true or or not, but um, usually when they want to uh, make it legal something that they might know that people won't like it that much, they usually do things like that. Like they approve things late night, uh, very quickly from night to day. So um, maybe that's the case here as well. Maybe they, they saw that they wouldn't get uh, a lot of support, even though the evangelist group in the Chamber of Deputies, uh, voted in favor of the um, of regulating sports bet and online casinos, even though they said that they were super against it uh, before. And so I don't know, like it's it's something that we usually do here. Mm -hmm. so I, I just want to get some clarity or kind of as close to a definitive answer as we could get. Because there's been various news outlets out there which have been contradicting themselves. Some say they've got online casinos, some say they haven't. And uh, Isidora, sorry, you mentioned already that it stated it's online gambling. So just a, a quick yes or no. I know it has to get approved, but is online casino potentially coming to Brazil? Yes, because it says it specifically says yeah. random number generators. Mm -hmm. RNG. Yes. Yeah, so. I mean, yeah. they don't specifically say the word casino, but it says show online. That's online gambling. And the definition of that mentions like random number generators. It's those words are specifically on the bill. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. That, 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 like games that are like that uh, contain symbols and numbers and they are and the results are generated by a random uh, system. So, yeah, that's definitely online casino games. Perfect. I, I know that seemed very a simplistic question to ask, but because there's been so many mixed messages floating out there, I think it was to get that clarity was very important from us from the get-go. Mm -hmm. um, but yep. kind of moving forward with this, so besides online casino and online gambling and all, um, RNG, we'll say, what are some of the changes that we're going to see in this approved amendment? Well... We have now learned that the licenses will be valid for three years instead of five and mm -hmm. that the tax system will be the same. But the way that the money collected from sports betting and I guess online gambling now will be distributed, will, like, the way it will be distributed will be different than we were expecting. So, for example, um, the social securities percentage went from 10 percent to 2 percent. And then the mini Ministry of Sports, which was going to get 3%, is now getting 4%. And also the Ministry of Tourism will be included on the, the whole system. And what, something that is really important is that sports teams and entities will get 6.63% um, for basically allowing the use of names, logos, images, and more. Um, and one more thing that I think it's worth mentioning is that it explicitly says that companies need to be in Brazil to operate or at least have a local yeah. entity there, meaning mm -hmm. that international companies will not be allowed to operate from abroad. Um, and in the past, I'm saying this is super important because in the past, the local ones argued that they were not in a position to like benefit from the industry and that the rules in general were benefiting international operators and that now it 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 says like no you will not be able to operate from an abroad company like you need to be in brazil you need to have people in brazil 
Yeah, especially like you need to have Brazilian people as well in the yeah. office. Okay, that is a that is an interesting perspective, which is well, that is an interesting kind of clarity on that, that moving forward. But kind of just with online casino, then are, are we? Is it just online casino that we're seeing, or will their offering kind of be expanded to other kind of elements in the sector? Um, I think that uh, if online casinos get legalized and regulated here, we will see. Um, an expanded offering uh, through uh, land-based casinos. I think that's something that uh, it was before brought up uh, during Congress discussions, and I think that's something that w- they might they might want to to have it here as well. Do it to like tourism, and of course more more taxation, more money money to the government. So I think that maybe yes, in the future. We will see, but right now we're just talking about uh, online uh, casinos and online sports betting. But I think in the future, I mean, not just online sports betting, we have also like land-based uh, sports betting places as well that people can can open up here in Brazil, if I'm not mistaken. Like the, the provisional measure was um, uh, open to it, he was legalizing every single type of sports betting online and land based. But uh, at the moment, I it's just online casinos. But this could open doors to to land based casinos in the future. I actually don't see why that wouldn't be the case because um, the person who brought this project that was like included in the sports betting regulation said that. Because there were people who complained, obviously, about online gambling like being included in the sports betting regulation at the very last minute. Um, we were talking with Isa before yep. the podcast, and we were saying like this was legalized at the end of 2018, and for five years people have been asking for an online gambling regulation, and every time they asked for it, they got a no. So how is it possible that it was included at the very last minute? And the answer from the person who brought this this project, he said. Well, I mean, we're not introducing anything new. We're just regulating something that is already happening at a national level. And hello, casinos, land-based casinos are already <laughs> happening. They're just like yeah, we have illegal so many and unregulated. Casinos. But hello, it's already happening. Yeah. Like protect your players. Get benefits from it. it it's done. Exactly. So I, again, I don't see why it wouldn't be a thing in the future if that's the argument that they use for online gambling. And one more thing to add to the original question. Um, it also includes fantasy sports, as long as the games don't have pictures of real people, which is odd. And then <laughs> betting on esports, which was, I think it was mentioned at some point in the sports betting regulation, but now it's like explicitly um, written in the, in the project. Okay. So like initially, when we knew that the industry in general you know, it wasn't really in favor of the tax rules that were introduced. I think from the top of my head, and this is no, you might be able to clarify this or correct me. Thirty percent was it, or was it higher for the for the players? Thirty yeah. percent up uh, up if the the winnings are above two thousand one hundred twelve. That's such out. a random number. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. Is the exemption <laughs> for the uh, for the tax regime that we have here? So, like, it's they just extended to to sports betting and online online casinos as well, but thirty percent. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, that's a lot. So it, it, it ended up being kind of higher than people initially expected it to be. But do you think do you think yeah. this new well this online casino approval if it happens will change their minds, or can we kind of expect? a similar reaction to the one that we saw when the provisional measures were un- unveiled. Unveiled? Unveiled. I, uh, um, I think it would be, uh, like, we, we can expect, I think, similar reactions. It's still, like, it's, it's a lot of money. It's, uh, the, it's, it's a very high percentage, like 30% on winnings, on players' winnings, and 18% of GGR for operators. And we have so many other taxes that we have to pay here in Brazil on top of this 18% uh, the companies have to pay actually on top of this 18%. So um, I think we'll, we can expect a similar reaction to the one that we saw uh, with the provisional measure, but especially because I 
here in Brazil, I never saw a sports betting website that does not offer uh, online casino games. So uh, it's not like two separate business. They are like, it's just one industry, let's say it like that. Like you, you find both mm -hmm. in one in one website. I mean, we can see online casinos that don't offer sports betting uh, markets, but we don't see sports betting sites that do not offer online casino games. So um, I think uh, they, it's just like, it is still, it's a lot, it's a lot of money. It's, it's a very high percentage. And I think that they will not uh, like it as well, just because they added online casinos too. Mm. And, and that's another thing that like, it's a question that comes to my mind right now, like how they will make sure that for instance like a sports betting operator is not offering online casinos online casino games in their website for brazilian players if they already have that in their in their portfolio in that in their website so i, I don't know how they will like control it mm -hmm. you know yeah okay so let's let's look forward now and wait can know. can i add something no yeah, go. On. <laughs> I, I just I, I don't think it will change their minds. Like they won't wake up and yeah. read the regulation and say, "Oh well, thank you, government, for including online casinos. I will forget about these super high taxes because you've been so kind to me." <laughs> like, no, that's not gonna happen. Um, I think the industry will be more united than ever to ask the government to review yeah. these rules and make some changes. Um, and uh, I don't know if hello. Brazilian politicians, if you're listening to this, but like, it's important for them to understand that they can see benefits from an industry that will be bleeding money every day. You need to be friendly to the industry if you want the industry to be friendly with you as well. It works both ways, right? I'll make sure to clip that and put it on LinkedIn for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's look forward. Let's look ahead now because this has come out of the blue and as you've already stated, yeah, I don't think you can really predict what's going to happen in the Brazilian market. But <laughs> what do you think the next steps are? And kind of do you think we'll be able to see a fully regulated operational market this year? Or are we probably looking into 2024 now? I think the first thing that they have to do is to get like uh, to find a, a common like a consensus uh, on that. Like they need to 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 work together to say like, okay, that's what we're gonna do, and then approve the mm -hmm. bill. Uh, and start like operating it legally. I don't think we'll see a fully regulated and operational market market this year, especially with all everything they've been seeing and what we just talked about about the high taxes and the the the, the amount of money that operators and and punters will have to to pay to be able to to play and to operate in Brazil. So um, I. I think the first thing they have to do is to get a consensus on on that and and then they can actually work on it to work on uh, advertising rules and how is the operation will happen here how many i don't know like the minimum uh how many people you have to have in your office like brazilian people you have to have in your office to operate and how is going to be uh how you're going to pay the the, the the GGR how you're gonna pay for the license how how it especially with this uh, uh, state license that we have right now that uh, we have a federal license have states license uh, how this is going to work so I, the house is not ready yet mm -hmm. and I think we'll we'll see uh, some changes and it will take some time like a good few months to I think to get like to, to know what they are going to do and like to say, okay, that's it. That's the, that's the, the law. And that's how it's going to, how it's going to go. So, so we could be looking at a, a nice early Christmas present for Brazil. Yeah, but I don't think we'll see that. <laughs> well, it's Brazil being Brazil, anything could happen. <laughs> but yes. about, about the law, it's, it's easier to get it right from the beginning instead of changing things once the market is operational. Um, like, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't seen a lot of positive responses to this bill. Um, hopefully the government will be open to discussing this again and changing some things. Hopefully the Senate will understand the things that the deputies couldn't. I don't know. Like, 
with some markets. Yeah, you, especially yeah. now that. Go ahead. No, you can. You can. Finish. No, no, that uh, like with other Latin American countries, sometimes you can tell which way they're gonna go based on like what some deputies or senators think. But with Brazil, like we were talking about this, the it's it's a very re religious country and that has weight on the political decisions. But now with the vote yesterday, like, sorry, um, this week, no, just I'm going to start again because it's not coming yeah, out yeah. today. Yeah. On Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Um, with the vote. Yeah. I'm going to say with the vote. Um, yeah. With the vote this week, <laughs> like you, we can see some, some things that are super surprising, like from people that you would not expect a positive vote. So yeah, it's completely yep. unpredictable. No, and, and and this will take long because uh, since it was like the bill comes from the Chamber of Deputies and now goes to the Senate, if the Senate changes anything and or wants to add anything to the bill, it has to go back to the Chamber of the Deputies before being sent to the to who is not Lula da Silva or President. So um, yeah, that will take a long time for mm -hmm. sure. And no doubt both Lou and Isidore will be over any of these out of the blue breaking stories when they happen. And just so you are kept fully up to date as quickly as possible, please make sure to subscribe to the Not A Sale Brazil newsletter. Uh, I will leave all relevant links in the description below alongside an article that Isidora has done on these breaking news story coming from Brazil that online casino is set to come to the Brazil regulated market. On that, Lou, Isadora, thank you for joining me today. I will see you both next week in Brazil. No, nope, in Barcelona. Oh, I'm yeah. not going to Brazil. In I'm Barcelona. going to a different place. Are you trying to tell something? Yeah, you won't see me in Barcelona. I'm going to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking already. I, oh, Brazil just next yeah, March. I'm thinking of next March already. Um, I will see you both next week in Brazil. No, I've done it again. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. He's obsessed with Brazil. To Brazil. <laughs> I will see you both next week in Barcelona. Yay. Um, is Yay. <laughs> yeah, you I got, got it right. Barcelona. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you both in Barcelona. Uh, but for today, thank you for clarifying this story for us and the industry in general. And uh, well, the listeners out there, have a good weekend. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to today's episode of iGaming Daily, brought to you in conjunction with SBC Summit Barcelona, being held at the Fira Barcelona Monduic on the 19th to the 21st of September. If you want to find out more about some of the subjects raised today, feel free to explore any of the sites in the SBC News Network or check out the latest edition of the SBC Leaders magazine. Happy reading.